Today I'm going to be showing you how to make enemy AI in Scratch in like under 10 minutes, in like 5 minutes maybe. So without further ado, let's get started right now. Okay, this is a tutorial about enemy AI, not player movement. So I'm just going to reuse some movement from a previous game I made. Uh, don't ask why it's this. I'm going to go into the costumes. It's not, this is not necessary, but I'm going to go into the costumes and change the player to a red or a blue square and i'm going to change the size to 100 instead of 35 and i am going to give him some little dots some little black dots for like eyes i could go i could go more detailed but um not going to right now so we're just going to copy this and paste it for the uh for the um the, the left sprite so we're just going to flip horizontal and just like that we have the left sprite and i'm just going to rename this to left so we have our player movement and actually i'm going to change this to something like 55. that's a lot better so now as you can see i have player movement and if you want a tutorial on how to do this just look that up and now i'm going to copy and paste this and accept now name this AI and I am going to make him red so now he is red the thing is if we just leave it like that he will just be another player kind of so we're just going to delete all of this and now we are going to make a new block don't have to do this but I am going to do it and name it AI like we're going to use all of the like make all the AI in this. So immediately we're going to put point in direction player. The reason we're doing this is we're going to use the move block to do this, which will move towards whatever it's pointing at. So if it's always pointing at the player, then it's always going to be moving at the player. You see how that works? So and then we're going to put like move uh, five steps, decent amount of. Uh, steps but if you want to ramp it ramp it up you can and um yeah that's that and we are going to do a one flag clicked um ai now that should be all right but actually no that's that's oh wait i forgot to put this in a forever loop in the ai so that should be it right well no that's not it well because first of all we need to code it so whenever you um touch him he, uh the game stops but he also kind of moves like that instead of like not moving how i am in order to combat this uh we'll just add a set rotation style uh don't rotate so put that above the ai block and you can see, not only does it jitter around like that, but it is also, it kind of automatically gives it a smooth animation. Not sure why this happens, but I honestly really like, really like it. And the only two things we need to do now is make it so whenever you touch him, the game stops. And he can actually use his eyes, so he's not always just like walking backwards while his eyes are in a completely different direction. Like polar opposite, that's kind of weird. So we're going to add a if if else statement in this forever loop in the AI block if um, X position once and then go into sensing get the backdrop number of stage player so if X position once X position of player we just switch the costume so it's looking right else set it to left this is because um, if the X position wants it's it's or if the X position is lower uh sorry I say wants because that's how I phrase it if the X position is lower than the X position of the player then it'll go right because that's just how X positions work I can't really explain it right now else it'll look left so as you can see it is now always looking at us the only thing we need to do is when it touches us the game stops actually one more thing after that so right off the bat we're going to not right off oh I'm, I'm stupid uh we're just going to make a broadcast called n and then below this if statement 
uh, we're going to if touching player we're going to broadcast end which will when go into the stage and uh, when I receive end we are going to go into control and stop all this is because if you did it in just any random sprite it would uh, depending on how many sprites and how much code you have it'll only stop like certain parts of the game I don't know why this happens but it does so the last thing we need to do is when flag clicked we want to uh, uh, in this when flag clicked we want to go toward uh, go to player go to player and then um, we're going to um, set X to and then we'll just copy and paste the X position of player then we'll get an operator put this in here and the left X position of player minus like 350 so this will actually give the player a decent shot and it won't it doesn't just like um kind of just uh can you know just um like immediately kill the player and uh when flag clicked we are going to go uh go to 117 39 or any place away from that so now it gives us a decent chance whenever we touch him the game stops and we don't just die immediately so you can actually play the game properly and so that's my uh functioning ai i will leave this game in the description um i'll leave this in the description for you to play if you want uh this is just a tutorial and for you ocd people i'll clean that up i being one myself so we have perfectly working a i so that that's that's all and uh, bye. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.